Hello everybody, my name is Jacob with Must Contain Minis and today we're going to fit my German army from Bolt Action into a Feldherr Mini Plus case. Now I'm not sure about you, but one of the ways that I keep my miniatures between games is in these scrapbook cases. Today I plan to change this. I'm going to use the Feldherr Mini Plus case and the foam that they gave me within it to store my miniatures in a new way. The foam itself is nice and soft, and I just go about it by putting the miniatures in there one by one. As I go, I try to keep them organized by squat. That will make it easier to take them out of the case when I go to play games at the store. Now, with the first tray full, I move on to the second. These slots are somewhat large for these minis, but that's totally okay. But I do feel they'll be quite safe being transported around because the foam itself is very soft. Now my first two trays are full, but I still have a few miniatures left to go. I have this radio operator, and I have an artillery observer, and a tank, and also a half track. On top of that, there are a few other miniatures that I had missed that I also need to place into this case. So for the tank and half track, I'm going to use some pluck foam. You can basically cut it out to whatever you need. So I place the tank on there just as a pre-measurement. Next up, I place on the half track and I'm still pre-measuring. I place a panther beside it and I'm just trying to figure out how is best to pluck this foam because I'm only going to get one chance at this. Once I have a rough map of how I want to place these items, I start plucking away at the foam. Like the pluck foam I did for my blood and plunder ship, this is not too hard of a task at all. As you can see, if you work around the edges, you can kind of just pull out a large clump of this stuff all at once. So you don't have to take each piece out piece by piece. Instead, you can just work at it and take out a huge section. <laughs> at this point, I had a little bit of a realization that I wish I had earlier. I took that tank and I placed it in there as I intended to put it. It's a snug fit, so I would have to take it apart another row to make it fit in the way that I initially planned. But then I put it on its side. I'm like, what? It fits in perfectly, so I'm going to do that, but now it's not as snug as I wish. So eventually I'm going to go back, and what I'm going to actually do is add in the foam. I know I said that I can only do this once, but I'm going to make do and make it fit in as I want. So let's continue on. So I take that tank out, find some foam, fit it in there, and see how that tank fits. It fits excellently. I wish I thought of this earlier. To make it less bulky, I take the foam that I placed in there from the one side and transfer it to the other. That way that the tank is a little closer to the half track now. I like that. I carry on and this time I'm much more careful about how I place that turret in there. I'm measuring, I'm making sure I don't want to make another mistake on this foam tray. I work at it and I'm satisfied with the result. Now it's time for the figures. How am I going to place them in there? I map it out again just by placing the figures on top. I'm trying to figure out is it best to put them on their side or on their base and just coming up with the best solution that will work in my mind. Once I figure out the approximate locations, I just start plucking the foam just like I did for the tanks. I then measure to see if they fit in there best on their sides or if they fit in there better on their bases. Eventually I come to this solution here. To me, it looks good. I'm ready for the next step. That next step is to remove the paper on the back of this tray to reveal the sticky adhesive of the foam tray. I spend a little bit of time to make sure that the foam is the way I want it, and then I carefully stick it to that bottom piece. This way, you end up with a pluck foam tray that has been customized to exactly what you want for your miniatures. Is a great idea and it works very well. You can see again where I didn't quite get the foam how I wanted for the tank. You can see that there's a little bit of a gap between the piece of extra foam that I added in. Now I'm trying to squish it in to make it more appealing to myself but that's about as good as I can get it. It's going to do its job so that is what matters. With the foam all set and the miniatures placed in, I transfer it into the Mini Plus case. Of course, it fits perfectly because this case is built for these foams. 
When you buy from Feldhair, you can choose which foams you want to go in whatever case you have. And if you want, you can even buy extra foams so you can add them in and out of the transport case as needed. And you can store your miniatures within these foam cases. When I'm done, I close it up and it's just a quick zipper around the bag. It's nice and safe in there. I kind of feel brave. I'm tossing it around a bit, I'm being a little rough on them. There's the tag. You can also put a label in there so that you know which army you have in whatever bag you're carrying. And when I open it back up after jostling around the miniatures for a while, they're in perfectly good shape, which is what you would expect from a foam tray case. Now, compared to other companies, I do find this foam soft. There you have it. That's how I fit my entire German army for bolt action into a Feldherr Mini Plus case. Admittedly, my German collection for bolt action is relatively small. We're going to see a bigger collection when I take on my British in a future video. If you want to get your hands on one of these Feldherr cases, there is a code that can save you some money in the description below. Now, that code is not an affiliate link, so I do not get any compensation for it, but it is a nice way for you to save 5 euro off of any purchase of 50 euro or more. That code is BOLT2022 and is good until the end of 2022. Special thanks does go out to Feldhair for sending me this product for review. Now, the setup that they sent me for this review does hold 32 soldiers and three tanks by default. So if you're wondering exactly how many figures you can get in there, it's 32 in those trays and three tanks. Now I didn't have three tanks, so I ended up using some of the tank space to put in more than 32 figures. I believe I ended up putting 36 figures in there. Overall, I really like the foam that Feldhair makes and their storage cases are really nice as well. So if you're looking for a way to transport your miniatures, Consider Feldhair. Until next time, happy gaming everyone!